All right, boys and girls, we're going to start with our place value review. Just like we do with breaking up numbers into expanded form and saying how many tens, how many ones. So when I tell you a number, you're going to tell me how many tens, how many ones, and then expanded form. Are we ready? Yes. Seventy-eight. Seven tens, eight ones, seventy plus eight. Seven tens, eight ones, seventy plus eight. What do I need to add to 78 to get to 80? Two. Two. How do we know that one? Yeah. Say it louder, Paige. Eight plus two equals So 78 plus 2 equals 80. Excellent. 29. Two tens, nine ones, 20 plus nine. What do I need to add to get to 29 to get to 30? One. Excellent. 45. Four tens, five ones, 40 plus five. Excellent. 33. Three tens, three ones, 30 plus 10. What do I need to add to 33 to get to 40? Seven. How did you know that so quickly, Grace Mary? Seven plus three equals 10. So, and three plus seven equals 10. So 33 plus seven would equal? 40, right? 68. 68 tens, 8 one, 60 plus 8. 87. 8 tens, 7 one, 80 plus 7. 91. 9 tens, 1 one, 90 plus 1. What would I need to add to 91 to get to 90? Nine. Nine. Excellent, because 1 plus 9 equals 10, so 91 plus 9 would equal 100. 17. One, one ten, ten, seven, one. 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 Ten, ten plus seven. seven. Excellent. 56. Five, five ten, ten, six, six one. one. 50 plus six. Last one, 42. Four, Four tens, two, one, 40 plus two. Awesome. Okay, now I'm going to give you some addition facts, and you're going to have to tell me the sum, and then how many tens, how many ones. This helps us when we're adding two two-digit numbers, and we need to think about regrouping tens and ones, okay? So are we ready? So, four plus nine. Fourteen. Thir Let's try that again, boys and girls. Four plus nine. Thirteen. Thirteen is how many tens, how many ones? One, one ten, ten, three, ones. Eight plus three. Eight. Eleven. Eleven. One, one, ten, one, three. One. Excellent. Eleven is one ten, one, one. Six plus seven. Thirteen. Thirteen. One, ten, three, one. Excellent. Thirteen is one ten, three, ones. Seven plus six. Thirteen. Thirteen. One, ten, three, one. What do you call that? Six plus seven and seven plus six. Turnaround They're turnaround facts. So if you know one, you know the other. Nine plus five. Fourteen. One, ten, four, one. Let's say it again together. Fourteen. One, ten, four, one. Excellent. Five plus seven. Twelve. 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 One, ten, two, one. Six plus four. Ten. One, one ten, ten, zero, one. Excellent. Last one. Nine plus nine. Eighteen. Eighteen. One, ten, eight, one. Nine plus nine is what, Grace Mary? I'm eighteen. How many tens, how many ones? One, ten, eight, one. Awesome. Okay. Now, if the sum is over nine, show me what you're going to do. Hands over your head. When does it help you? You need to regroup. So this helps us regrouping. Okay, ready? You guys want to sing the song? Yeah. Okay. When we are well, that's the, when we are adding and oh, we need to regroup. How do we know we need to regroup? When is over nine? And what can we say in our heads to remember? The song. When your number's over nine, you regroup. When your number's over nine, you regroup. When your number's over nine, add it to the next line. When your number's over nine, you regroup. And we need to remember to regroup that one.
110 to the tens place or the next line like in the song. So this way when we add, we don't forget it. Okay, so five plus four. Oh, nah. If it's over nine. But are you going to put your hands on your head? Because five plus four is nine. Good. Eight plus six. Nine plus seven. Six plus four. Eight plus one. Three plus five. Seven plus seven. Ow. Four plus nine. Five plus six. Two plus nine. Eight plus eight. Last one, two plus four. Excellent. Okay, boys and girls. On your desks, you have a quick addition quiz that we're going to do to practice our facts. We need to be, we not only need to know our facts, we need to know them quick. quickly. Okay? We need to know them accurately, we need to know them quickly. So I'm going to set the timer for one minute. During that one minute, I want you to do as many as you can. Okay? If you don't finish, I want you to circle the ones that you do not finish. So for example, if you didn't finish this entire column here, you can just circle around it. So you know that next time we do this, you want to set that goal for yourself and you want to make sure that you get more than you did this time, okay? So I'm going to set the timer for one minute. Are we ready? Yes. yes. Okay, you may begin. You already know that it's blank. Are we ready? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Seven plus nine. Sixteen. Six plus six. Twelve. Four plus seven. Eleven. Six plus nine. Twelve. Fifteen. Fifteen. 
Two plus seven. Nine. nine. Four plus seven. Eleven. Uh, eleven. Five plus nine. Fourteen. 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 Seven plus seven. Fourteen. 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 Six plus eight. Fourteen. Fourteen. Three plus seven. Ten. Nine plus eight. Eight plus nine. Seventeen. Ten plus six. Sixteen. Three plus nine. Oh. One plus nine. Ten. Seven plus eight. Fifteen. I don't hear everyone. Eight plus seven. Fifteen. Four plus nine. Thirteen. Five plus eight. Thirteen. Even if you don't have an answer there, but you know it, should you be participating in saying the answer? Yeah. Yes. Because this is helping you to remember your facts. Eight plus six. Thirteen. Fourteen. One plus eight. Nine. Two plus nine. Eleven. Five plus eight. Thirteen. Four plus six. Ten. Eight plus eight. 16. 3 plus 8, 11. 2 plus 6, 8. 8. 10 plus 7, 17. 8 plus 9, 17. 2 plus 8, 10. 10. Wow, Angela, you're at 5. 5 plus 7, 12. 12. 7 plus 7, 14. What do we call 7 plus 7? Double fast. 9 plus 9, 18. 18. what do we call that? Double fast. 7 plus 6, 15. 7 plus 6, 13. 5 plus 6, 6 plus 6, 1 plus 6, 3 plus 6, 1 plus 7. Excellent. Okay, at the end of math, I want you to put this in your yellow folder. For now, I want you to flip it over and put it underneath your whiteboard. Have your eyes on the board. Boys and girls, I have another problem from home that I need you guys to help me with. Yay! That is to be. So, this weekend, this is going to be our math talk problem. This is your chance to talk about your different strategies for solving problems, okay? So, Mr. B spent $84 this weekend. Pretty soon we're going to be going broke. $40 of that money was spent on gas. So out of the $84, 84 is the whole thing that he spent. Out of that money, $40 was spent on gas. The rest was spent on food. Do I know how much was spent on food? No, he didn't save that receipt. How much money did he spend on food? Can you guys figure that out for me on your boards? You can use whatever strategy works for you to figure that out for me. I need you to help me. Tell me how much he spent on food. He didn't save me that receipt. So he spent 84 altogether. Out of that $84, 40 of it was spent on gas. The rest was spent on food. I love how I see some of you drawing pictures to help you solve. Oh, gosh. I love how some of you are making your own it's color cool. lines. Oh, 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 You think that's what he spent on food? And that's why that's what I know he spent on gas. If you add those two together, would it be eighty-four dollars? Check your work. Oh, so how much did he spend on the food? What's 24 plus 40? Does that equal 84? Okay, I see lots of different strategies. Hmm. Um, Lil, can you come up and explain what you did to help us solve can we learn from each other's strategies? I know Mateo and Enzo, you guys learned strategies from each other before. What did you do, Lil? Can you say it? Can you do it? 
Oh, so 40 plus, what do we say when we have a question mark? 40 plus something equals 84. So 4 plus 4 equals 8. So I counted up from 8 and I got I got 4 more. I got counted up from 40 and I got 4 more. Were you counting 1s or 10s? Um, 1s. For 1s? So you counted four ones, so 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, mm -hmm. and, then what it, 44. and then you counted in the tens to get to 84. So how many tens to get to 84? So let's start at 40. 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and then those four ones. Excellent. Did somebody do it in a different way? Ooh, Mateo, what did you do? Can you go up to the board? I like that strategy. So you started at 40 and you counted up to 50. You counted by tens up to 50. And one, two, three, four, one, ten, two, ten, three, tens, four, tens. Do you guys see that? How cool is this? I've never seen this strategy before. So we started at 40, counted up 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. So one ten, two tens, three tens, four more tens would get you to 80. So four tens makes 40. So now 40 plus what? So he, now we come to have 40 plus 4 to get. Oh, cool. And I like how you line up the 1s and the 10s, just like we learned yesterday. So you counted up. That's a strategy that we could use. Excellent. The answer is 84? No, he, 44 is the answer. That's oh. how much he spent. 44, okay? 84 is the total what he spent all together. So $44 is what he spent because now if I go to check my work and I say 40 plus 44, and Lil, you, meant, you didn't add the 44 here, but I saw it was on your whiteboard. Zero plus four is four, and four plus four is eight. Four tenths plus four tenths, 84. So this is what he spent on food. We're gonna go folks. Okay, boys and girls, erase your board. Mm -hmm. Love learning your strategies. Okay, so for today's lesson, I need someone to read our focus question nice and loud so everyone can hear it. Nice and loud. Um, Enzo. How do I write a number model? model to help me solve addition word problems? How do I write a number model? to help me solve addition word problems. A number model is a number sentence, okay? So I have a problem here, boys and girls, that we're going to practice with. Now, I'm going to read the problem, and I want you to look at the problem and follow along. This is going to help us, boys and girls, writing number models will help us when we're reading word problems because we need to organize the information in the word problem to help us solve it. And not all word problems are the same. So are we ready to read it? I will read it out loud. You are following along. Grace Mary. The cafeteria sold 46 grilled cheese sandwiches on Monday. On Tuesday, they sold 28 grilled cheese sandwiches. How many sandwiches did they sell on both days? Now I'm going to reread it again and think about the information that's in the problem. Is this a problem that our cafeteria workers would probably have to solve? Why would it be important for them to know how many grilled cheese sandwiches they sold? Why would that be important for them to have to figure that out? Okay. Ooh, to see how much money they have to pay for food. Why else? 
What if they sell a lot of grilled cheese sandwiches, Paige? So, so they know if they have have to make more of them. Yeah, what if kids, all of a sudden, those grilled cheese sandwiches are very popular. They need to know how many they want to make, but they have to make for the kids. So I'm going to read it again. Now you read with me. The cafeteria sold 46 grilled cheese sandwiches on Monday. On Tuesday, they sold 28 grilled cheese sandwiches. How many sandwiches did they sell on both days? Okay, how many did they sell on both days? What do they want me to find out? What do I need to find out? Ava? How many grilled cheese they sold on both days? Yeah, I need to, so am I taking something apart? Am I missing a part of the problem? Or am I putting something together to get an answer? What am I doing? So, I'm putting together. What am I putting together? What's the information in the problem that I'm going to put together or add? Who can look back into the problem and tell me that information that I need? So I can write a number model to help me solve. What's the information in the problem? Robert? They sold 64, 46. 46 grilled cheese sandwiches. So 46, is that an important number? Yes. 46, what other information does the problem give me? Alexis? 28. 28, so on Monday, 46, 28, on Tuesday, what am I doing with these two numbers? Grace Mary, what am I doing with these two numbers? What do I need to put here? Um, plus, minus. Am I subtracting to find the difference? Or am I putting together to find a total? Putting together. Am I putting together, Madison? Yes. So I need to... Add, so 46 plus 28 equals something. something. Boys and girls, this is a number model. 46 plus 28 equals something. I don't know this, but I'm putting these two add-ends together to find the sum. So can you please write this number model on your whiteboards for me? This helps us organize our thinking. And yesterday, when we practiced our addition, do you remember we had problems that were written like this and we had to rewrite them to solve? I want you to write the number model so you organize your information. And then I want you to solve it. You can use any of the strategies we've learned to solve it. And I see many of you already have started to solve it using that horizontal way, or I'm sorry, the vertical way of writing your addition problem. Lining up those ones and those tens. I love that you put the line there, Stephanie. One ten, four ones. Excellent. Now let's add the tens. One plus four is, and five plus two is. What do you have here? Ava, excellent. But again, here, six plus eight is what? 14. 14 is 110 and 4 ones. You had 15. 110, 5 ones. Check your work. All right, boys and girls. Some of you drew pictures and some of you did what we learned yesterday, rewriting it. So that's what I'm going to do here. So I'm going to line up my tens and my ones. Four tens, six ones, and 46. 28 has two tens, eight ones. I add the ones first. Why do I need to add the ones first? 
Joey? Because if you need to regroup. In case I need to regroup, I need to make sure that I'm adding the ones first. So six plus eight is what, Sam? 14. 14. 14 is how many tens? How many ones, Tommy? One ten. Here's my one ten. Four ones. I'm lining up those ones in the ones place. Now I add the tens. One plus four is? Five. Five. And five plus two is? Seven. 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 Wow, they sold a lot of sandwiches between those two days. So, boys and girls. 46 plus 28 equals 74. 74 sandwiches. Do you see how writing a number model helps us to organize our thinking before we solve? That's what you're going to do today. Okay? Grace, do you have a question? Can I explain how I did mine? Sure. So here's how I did mine. First I did what we did yesterday, adding up those tens. Um, and then I did it in picture form. So Excellent. I drew the tens and ones plus the tens and ones equals the tens and ones. So you drew a picture as well to help you. That's okay, boys and girls. Is it okay to draw a picture sometimes to help you? Yes. Yeah, is it okay to add breaking up numbers in expanded form? Yes. And adding the parts? Yes. What works for you? But writing a number model helps me to organize the information. The problems we're solving today are like this. We're going to be practicing putting together in order to find the sum. So what I want you to do now is erase your boards and make sure that your cubes are neatly placed on your trays. You're going to take your work from underneath your whiteboard and you're going to switch to your group. Now, let's take a quick look at our problems. Do you see how the problem is written and there's a space underneath? Yes. Yeah. What do you think that space is for? That is it? Um, to draw the, um, to write your number. Number. Model. model. Okay? To write your number model or number sentence to help you solve. You are going to write a number model. Hunter, what are you going to write for each problem? A number model. Excellent. And writing the number model helps you organize the information to help you solve. After you write your number model, you can solve it using whatever strategy works for you. Okay? You will have about 10 minutes to do this. If you finish, here is some review of what we did yesterday, except I made it a little more challenging for you. On the back, there are add-ends, and there are some sums here. You need to match the add-ends to the correct sum. Okay? All right. So make sure you are talking about the math that you're doing and discussing your strategies to solve your problems with your groups. Go ahead. Switch. first page so you can practice what we just did okay. and then you can do the second page okay don't forget boys and girls you're writing a number model first and then you are solving the problem I want to see number models so number models You can talk with your groups as you're solving the problem. You may read it with a partner at your group. What would your number model be, sweetheart? Angelo, I love that you're setting up your paper 
to make space for the number of models. Boys and girls, it's okay for you to talk while you're working. It's okay for you to read it with a partner at your group. I guess that if that's a strategy that you want to use, horizontal is going across. That's your number model, okay? Vertical going up and down is how you're solving it. That's what we learned yesterday. If that's the strategy you want to use to solve it, tell me how you're solving it. Can you explain it to me? Why? Read me the problem first. There are 25 red, there are 25 red balloons and 27 blue balloons. How many balloons are there in all? So this is a problem where you're putting together to find out a total, right? So what was your number model? Tell me what you wrote here as your number model. 25 plus 27. Equals something, right? Yeah. So now you wrote it this way. You rewrote it like we learned yesterday to add. So what did you do first? I, I, I counted the, the ones up. You counted or added? Add. Added. So what did you add? 7 plus 5. Which is? 12. 12 has how many tens, how many ones? One ten and two ones. What did you do with that one ten? Put it in the tens. What do you call that? A grouping. Good job. Then I counted the twos up. So you did one ten plus two tens, which is? Three tens. And three tens plus two tens is? Five tens. Excellent. And your total is? Fifty-two. Fifty-two. Can you do that again with this yeah. one? Because I'm just going to draw the model. Can you read me this problem? Percy? She's a grasshopper jumping in the grass. He counts 16 jumps. Then he counts 15 more jumps. How many total jumps did he count? Okay, so what would your number model look like? Can you show me a number model? Look up at the board. Can you show me what a number model would look like for this problem? How come you're doing 15 plus 16? What does the problem want us to find out? He wants to count 16 and 15 in all. But what are we counting? How many total? Grass. How many jumps the grasshopper did? Yeah, how many jumps? So 15 plus 16. And I noticed that you rewrote it like what we learned yesterday, and you lined up the ones and the tens. So now what are you going to do? I'm going to do six plus five and see if I can. What's six plus five? Six plus Check your work, sweetheart, and then I'm going to have you talk with your group. Okay. Six plus five is what, Joe? Eleven. Eleven. Do we need to regroup? Yes. Yes. Eleven is one ten and one. 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 So now you regroup that one ten and one plus one. Excellent. Does Stephanie have the same answer? Yes. Can you remind Stephanie to write a number model? Show her your number model. Boys and girls, I am impressed by how you're using what we learned yesterday. Most of you have chosen to oh. use that strategy. Is it because it's quicker? Yeah. And if you know your facts quickly, you're able to solve these problems quickly. Love your you might have to rewrite it, so you you might have to rewrite the problem to be able to solve it.
time. Okay, Grace, you know what might help you, sweetheart? If you write a number model first so you can organize the information. So let's read this problem. Lucy sees a grasshopper jumping in the grass. She counts 16 jumps, and then counts 15 more jumps. How many total jumps do we count? So what do we want to find out? How many total jumps do we count? Can you write a number model so we can organize the information in the problem? That's what I need to do. Okay, so what's the information that we have in the problem? Can you circle it? Jumps. And 15 jumps. Okay, so now we need to do what with those? Put them together. together. So can you write a number model going across this way, just like on the board? Look at the board, honey. Can you write a number model going across that way to help you organize your information? Sure. Talk, you need to talk with your group about your problems, share your answers, and talk about how you got them. It's okay to talk. Okay, the number model, sometimes we can do it mentally and in our heads as we solve the number model, but sometimes we're gonna have to use a different strategy, okay? Do you think we're gonna have to regroup with 15 plus 16? Look at the one. Yeah, so is it better to write it out? Okay. And I knew it was 21 because, um... Well, how about we check our work to see if it's correct? So can you rewrite it the other way? Sure. Okay, so now we add once. Five plus six is what? Well, first we need to finish the five plus six. Five plus six is what? One. Five plus six is? Eleven. Eleven has one ten that you already regrouped and one one, right? Where does the one go? Um, it goes right here. The one that you regrouped, that ten, but the one from the eleven in the ones place stays, stays there. So can you write that there? And then you add the 10. So 1 31. What did you write here? One. How did your thinking change? What happened? What did you forget to do here? Um, you forgot to add that extra 10. Do you see why it's important to write down that 1 and show your work when you're regrouping? Yes. Okay. So do you want to check your work here with this one? Write a number model and then rewrite the problem? Okay, go ahead. How are we doing? Do we have the same answers? Mm -hmm. Teo, I love your work, but I don't see a number model, okay? These number models, oh, I'm looking at yours that Tommy has. Number models, sometimes problems are easier to solve, but sometimes your number model might not look like that. There's different, so sometimes you might have like, 25 plus something equals 80. Kind of like the one that we did when you were helping me solve a problem for my husband. So it's important to organize your information with the number model. No, 45 plus 18 is 63. Because I, here, I, I know that 5 minus 8 minus 8 minus or plus? No, this is what I looked at the 1. Yeah. Almost at 1 more to go. I know that 5 minus 8 minus 8 minus 8 minus and it makes three, so I knew the, the three again, there's no more three than the ones over here. So if you add five plus eight, what do you get? Three. Three or thirteen? Wait, what one are you on? Thirteen. And so the three would stay in the ones place. Is that what you did? I think you're trying to explain it. Well, it's my opinion. Check your work with someone who's done. Boys and girls, thumbs up if you finish the first page. Can I just share something that I was just talking about with Angelo? Angelo was doing the second page, and he was breezing through them. And I said, Angelo, how did you know so quickly that 45 plus 18 is 63? Okay. 
He looked at the ones in 45 and 18. He looked at those five ones in 45 and the eight ones in 18, and he knew five plus eight is 13. He had to regroup, but 13 has three ones, 63 has three ones, so he knew that that would be the correct one. Awesome thinking. All right, boys and girls, I need you to flip to the first page. And I want you to circle one that you think you really did a great job on writing your number model and solving. You really worked your hardest and your best on. What's the fifth one? Five. And I'm going to collect these, but before I do, I'm going to ask a few of you to share your number model and then to share your sum. So for number one, there are 25 red balloons and 27 blue balloons. How many balloons are there in all? Joey, what did your number model look like? Can you tell me what your number model was? 25 plus 27. So 25 plus 27 equals something, right? And then what did you do? What strategy did you use? Can you come up to the board and quickly show us? So he organized his information with the number model, and now he's rewriting the problem like we learned yesterday. Can you explain what you're doing? I'm organizing the numbers. Okay. What's your first step now? You rewrote it, what's your first step? What are you adding first? The ones. So five plus seven is 12. Did you have to regroup? Yes. Thumbs up if you got 52 for number one. Give Joey a big smile if you use the same strategy as he did for solving it. All right, let's look at number two. There are 43 students in the cafeteria. There are 27 students in the classroom. How many students are there? Grace, can you tell us what your number model was? What was your number model? Can you read that to us? 43 plus 27 equals 7. 43 plus 27. And what was the sum? 70. 70. Thumbs up if you got 70. Flash me a big smile if you rewrote the problem the way we learned yesterday, like Joey just did on the board. Love it. Okay. Boys and girls, I'm going to collect these. But before I do, I just want to ask you one question. Let's go back to our focus question, okay? How do I write a number model to help me solve word problems? How can a number model, how can this help me after I read a word problem? How can a number model help me to solve? Paige? It can show you the numbers. Shows us the numbers. And what are we doing with the information in the problem? What do you call that when I'm taking the information in the problem and I'm, I'm, making it, I'm writing a number model? Rewriting it. You're rewriting it and you're organizing the information to help you solve, okay? All right, boys and girls, I want you to pass these papers to one person on the end of your group so you can pass it here to Madison. Pass them to Ava, pass them to Lily. Make sure your names are on them. I'm going to take a look at your number models and at how you solve the problem.